Hey, this is Deepesh. Welcome to the four step scaling formula. So if you're now ready to scale, I want to take you through exactly how I go about scaling an account. So there's four key parts of what I want to talk you through. And, you know, assuming you've been through the graduation framework, then I'm going to take you through the approaches from developing on from that. If you haven't been through the graduation framework, absolutely do so. Step one, prove your audience and creative. So the fr graduation framework is all about finding the right audience for the right offer with the right creative as a foundation to your scaling. So if you've been through the graduation framework, you'll know that my approach to audience and creative testing, which will contain your offer and your message, is all about delivering user value. So the first part of being able to scale is that you, you'll know that your audience and your creative is delivering user value. So that comes into targeting, ad relevance, landing page, sales model, etc. So by this stage of the course, if you've been through the other key modules around testing and optimization, then you will have already have understood how to go about developing the graduation framework. If you haven't, then go back and go through the graduation framework, develop your ads, and get into a position where when you're ready to start spending more, you've already validated your audiences and your ads. Now, if you're coming into it and you've already got ads and audiences that are working, then you can move on to step two, which is all about testing your audience and creative with auto bid first and then adding V scaling. So the, one of the things I want you to take away from this is when you have any kind of audience, you would start off with auto bid because you don't know what the right bid amount is. So if you've been through the video on manual bid, you'll understand the need for auto first and then for manual. And what I like to do is before doing any other kind of scaling is to do my auto bid with V scaling. So go through the V scaling training and start to implement that on your winning ad sets. So really with this, what we're doing is playing around with budgets. So with V scaling, I'm increasing my budgets 20% at a time. And that's my main focus. So once I know that I have a winning creative, and a winning audience, then I'm going through and just incrementally increasing my budget using the V scaling strategy. Have a look at the video, understand it and apply it. That's the first part of validating whether your answer is actually ready for scaling. Because if you can't get V scaling to work, you're not going to get any other kind of scaling to work as well. And there may be something more with your audience or creative that you haven't spotted yet. If you've been through the V scaling strategy, this screen will look familiar. This is about doing your incremental 20% increases. This is just an example of a campaign which I ran where I ran 20% increases and I was validating that the ad set, which was on $500 a day, was able to take small incremental increases in spend and, and within a short period of time would more than double the budget. So, you know, it's about the compound effect of 20% increase as well and being able to validate whether the ad set's ready. The next part of this is then optimizing your ads. So if you've done the V scaling, at the same time, you'll probably find ads that are maybe not working as well as the other ads. So my best practice is running three ads per ad set, potentially four or five ads if I've got the budget to support it, or I want to test a few more variations out of my ads. And as you start to scale up, you may find that certain ads are not performing as well. And, and that's where the ad sniper strategy comes in. So have a look at the ad sniper strategy if you haven't to optimize your ads and pull out the bad performers. And, and so what I'm doing here is to find the ads which are not performing as well as maybe some of the other ads, pausing them and moving on. And this works at the ad set level where I'll be looking at the average results across the ad set and then trimming ads which are not up, up to scratch versus the ad set average. So have a look at that training, understand it and start to apply it so that you understand that this, this third step of scaling is around optimizing what you've got as you're increasing your spend. And then the kind of fourth part when it comes to scaling and especially if I want to scale faster. So in some cases, 20% incremental increase in spend a day every few days is fine. Not every single account needs to scale fast. 
But if you do have the capacity and the requirement to scale faster, then you move into H scaling. And, and so that's all about making duplicates of your winning ad sets, making a slight change, and then pushing additional budget there. So if you've been through the H scaling strategy training, you'll, you'll have identified this screen as the example where I had my ad set, which I actually didn't touch. Then I made duplicates where I was increasing budget. And I made slight changes to each of the duplicates. So this one here, we had an ad set where I changed the landing page. And then for these ones here, I was playing around with manual bid. And if you go through the manual bid training, you'll understand part of this strategy to find the best manual bid. So this one, for example, the CPA goal was $30. And I found that the $90 max bid, so using the target cost manual bid works best and I was able to scale that a lot faster to $1,500 a day and, and so this is kind of a bit more in fact a lot more advanced in terms of scaling but it scales a lot faster so if you imagine I had this ad set at 283 um, and a half dollars and that's because of the 20% scaling previously I've not touched that so I've left that running as it was and I've made duplicates and I've been a lot more aggressive in my scaling as well, for example. So that gives me a bit more leeway. If, if one of these ad sets fails, then I've still got my insurance policy to fall back on. If all of them fail, I just pause them out and, and continue with this one until I'm confident of testing something else as well. So that's the fourth part of scaling, and which is all about the bid. And, and that's where you can advance the, the, the algorithm a lot further as well. And so, you know, going from this example of bid different levels, I've tried a different landing page. And if you go through page scaling, there's other options you can cut your ad sets into. So you can go through Instagram versus Facebook, mobile versus desktop, manage your budget budgets between that, manage your bidding and your optimization and your creatives within that as well. And you can start to scale accounts a lot quicker that way as well. And, and so just to kind of recap, number one is the graduation framework. Get that running, get that operational. Then go into V-scaling, so you're increasing your budget to 20% at a time, whether it's daily or every few days. Then go into your ad sniper, so you're optimizing your ad performance. And then you go into H-scaling. And then it's a combination of kind of ad sniper and V-scaling within that. So, for example, in this one where I did H-scale into um, a copy, I've then applied V-scaling on top, so I can scale within an ad set as well. And it's about bringing all those elements together to give you the best chance of scaling. So... When it comes to your scaling strategy, this is what I would recommend. Get the graduation framework in place, V-scale, optimize, H-scale, and then do a combination of those in between.